come back again. And I'm wearing a souvenir. I got that when I was living in Hollywood. And uh, today's my day off from my job. And my schedule seems to be changing for the winter now. Uh, so I'm only working four days next week. And actually th this week I'm also only working four days because I requested the weekend off. Um, uh, and my boss says that he tries to have it where people have a four day work week and then a five day work week and uh, and then another four and then five on and on like that in, in the winter because business is so much slower and and I've noticed it already it's, it's been uh, there's been days with a lot fewer customers so, and a lot less stuff to do so uh, on the subject of work, I've been learning that I have to speak up more and ask more questions than I used to in previous jobs. Uh, mainly, mainly, mainly because I have a lot more responsibilities now than I did in other jobs, which was and basically, uh, just one thing you do over and over again, uh, with, with a few other things like you know, wash dishes, dishwasher. You wash the dirty dishes and put it away the clean dishes. And you just have to remember where everything goes and how to wash dishes <laughs> and uh, so I, I have to do uh, talk more I guess uh, uh, one thing I'm still a little confused on is breaks like uh, when to take them because uh, uh, like, there could be a certain time where it's really slow, but then a few minutes later, a whole bunch of people come in, and it's really busy again. So, I'm um, not sure when the best time is to take a break. And also, I've been told that I have to work two hours before I can take a break, and I can't take a break uh, less than two hours before I leave. Uh, otherwise, you know, I, I get written up or, or disciplined. In some way. So I like have to take a break in between in, uh, two hours after I start work and two hours before I leave in between there. And also like they want uh, me to stick around that cash register when someone's uh, uh, ending their shift, because they'll be counting the money in their register uh, before they leave, everyone has to do it. And then you can't use that register while they're counting. So if you get really busy at that time, uh, other people need to be at the cash registers 
And uh, also, I've been told I uh, told two different things by two people about the amount of time I can take for a break. Because there's a uh, there's there's the boss of everyone. Uh, he, I think he's the manager of the store. Uh, I'm not sure if he owns the store and then like franchises or or the store the gas station is franchised and he owns that one store. I know there's other stores in other cities and states. But anyway, there, there's that the boss guy and then two other, I guess, like assistant level managers, assistant managers maybe. And I've been told by them uh, about breaks. Like one said, uh, everyone just gets one 15 minute break. No matter how long you're, you uh, are scheduled to work for that day, just one 15 minute break a day. And with this other guy, uh, he gave me a sheet with uh, all of the rules and policies on it. And, and that sheet said that people working six hours, uh, get one 15 minute break, but people working more than six hours get a 20 minute break. I think that's what it says. So uh, I'm not exactly sure, but they both said you can split them up split your break up any way you want. Because some of my coworkers smoke, so they'll do like five minute smoke breaks throughout the day. And so far, I think, uh, well, for me, I've been usually taking two breaks and uh, I, I go a little bit over the allowed time. Like they, they said if it's just like a minute or two, they won't do anything. But if you're taking like two 15-minute breaks, then you will get disciplined. So, but I don't do that. Uh, uh, so, so far, no one said anything, so... So, uh, I take that as, as, uh, I'm not doing anything wrong, so, hey, I'll, I'll just keep doing it. But, but there's actually been a couple days where I didn't take a break. And, and, uh, my other co-workers, the, these, the, these two women, I won't work with, they actually kind of get a little worried about me and say, have you taken your break yet today? Do you want to take a break today? And one of them said, they like, asked me, why don't you take your breaks or why don't you like taking your breaks? And uh, I just said, well, I don't really know when a good time is to take a break. And he was like, just take a break now you can take a break thank you <laughs> so I, I've been learning to to uh, ask for a break before they ask me <laughs> and and you're responsible for your own breaks no one else keeps track of your breaks. So it's my responsibility. And that's what 
uh, I've been learning to do. Uh, uh, so I've been learning to speak up more for myself. Uh, at least for breaks. Uh, and I still gotta work on like the small talk or conversations. Because I am usually pretty quiet at work. Yeah, gotta think of stuff to say before I go into work. Topics to talk about, stuff like that. Yeah. It, it usually takes me a long time to get comfortable uh, with new people uh, so I can talk to them or ask them questions. But I've been trying to get better at that. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, um, I should end this vlog. I've been rambling for like over 15 minutes now. <coughs> so, uh, until next video, see you later.